What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to utilize the Shotgun Bunch Week in Madden NFL 17. Now, this is one of the most popular formations. I'm in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook here, and I want to just share a little bit about the Bunch Week from a standpoint of what I would use, why I would use it. I'm trying the, the Kansas City Chief playbook out just to kind of try something new, see if it has anything unique in it that I haven't you know, used before. One thing that I would recommend right off the bat though is for beginners, test your offensive plays against cover two sync because that's the most popular defense that people are gonna be utilizing in Madden NFL 17. All right, so the first thing is we want to come out in the play Z spot. That's the bread and butter play. That's exactly where we want to start. Now, we have a couple of things at our disposal. We have verticals, we have halfback base, and we have spacing. Now, if you use the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, you can get another quick audible there that is uh, useful. It is the stick play that has a corner route to the left side of the field, which is kind of unique um, because you can motion it out and do a couple things. But we're gonna show you this because this is the most basic beginning. You wanna use two primary options when you see this look. You wanna use either PA post or you wanna use Z spot. Now, here's the setups for those plays. For Z spot, you're gonna put square on a slant. You're gonna put Jason Witten on an in route and you're gonna put Ezekiel Elliott on either a swing or a wheel route. I personally think the swing route is the best, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna motion Des Bryant to the left and snap it right before he sets up. And your first read is this quick in route to Jason Witten. This will be very effective against defenses that are more concerned with taking away your deeper plays. Your second read though, you look Witten quick and then you wanna to look to this route out of the backfield to the running back, if they're in cover two sync, that's probably not gonna be open. But where it is gonna be effective is if they're in Tampa two coverage or they do any kind of blitzing, that's gonna be very effective, okay? The third read is this corner route to the outside. As you can see, you can kind of sneak it in if you have the outside leverage. The key with corner routes is to have outside leverage, okay? Then after you look to the corner route, you're going to continue your reads and at this point you're going to be able to take a look at Des Bryant as you can see it's a very effective little quick route over the middle it's very effective because zone coverage has a very difficult time stopping it it also beats man okay so nothing really stops that route and then your final read is this over the top route to circle now the next play you want to utilize is PA post and you want to put Jason Witten on a fade or a streak, whichever you feel comfortable with. You want to put Dez on an in route, and you want to put Ezekiel Elliott on an out route, okay? Your first read is going to be to the seam. If you can pass that, if you can fit that in, go ahead and do it. A lot of times, especially in situations where they're going to be playing cross man, um, doing different things like that, that route's going to be wide open, okay? The second read is to Ezekiel Elliott. So he's gonna do really good against cover two sink. Any kind of cover two that's not a hard flat, he's gonna do really good against, okay? The next read on the progression is um, you're gonna be looking to circle. Now, as you can see here, he's not open. The C route is only effective. It's very effective against man to man. It's very effective against cover three. And it's very effective against cover two if they play hard flat cover two. Okay, so here it is against man, as you can see, wide open. So, a couple of recommendations with throwing the C route. You wanna pass lead it at about two o'clock, so it's up and to the outside, okay? That's the real key, up and to the outside. Now, if there's a defender there, obviously you would check it down to Zico Elliott, um, but just wanted to show you the route. Then the next read, after you look there, so you're looking right, right, and then you look back down this middle. This route to Dez, again, another really solid route. It's an in route, okay, and it's exactly the same motion pattern. Everything's the same. The only thing that changes is instead of it being a, uh, a slant route, it's now going to be an in route. 
Once you look there, if that's covered, then you're going to go to Cole Beasley over the top. And as you can see, it's going to be very effective. If you want to with Dez, and this may increase productivity in the play, motion him out and just kind of snap him a little bit earlier. It's going to make him run a little bit of a different route. The only reason that I would suggest doing this is if they're running a lot of zone. If they're, if they're running man, you want to bring him all the way out. But if they're running zone, you might bring him in here like this. It's going to give you a little bit cleaner of a release. Okay? So those are the, the primary plays that I would recommend running from the bunch. I want to share one other look that you would probably get from a defense. And it would be very useful for you to see this. So if you see something like this where they're in, in, in the, the corners on the outside are backed off. That's where you want to utilize verticals. So verticals, what you're going to do is you're going to motion Dez to the left. You're going to put Jason Witten on an out route, and you're going to put Ezekiel Elliott on an option pattern. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Your first read is Dez Bryant, and if you look against cover three, if the corners back off, you can throw that really quickly. However, if they fool you, which they may, some, some teams will try to fool you with different strategies. What you can do is, if it is indeed Tampa 2, then just check it down right there to Jason Witten. It's a nice, easy check down read. If it's cover 2 man, then what you can do is, same kind of thing. You can try to fit that in. Sometimes it actually will be open. Personally, it's just not high enough of a success rate for me to really rely on that against man. So then what I like to do is, okay, they're in man to man. Now I'm looking at Jason Witten. Now I can run after the catch. As you can see, he can get some yardage for you. If for whatever reason Jason Witten is covered, which the likelihood of him being covered if they're in man is very small. So let's say the user defended or something like that. You have this out route to Ezekiel Elliott against man to man. Okay, so you have different check down options. Spacing, uh, I don't really use this one a ton, but it is really, really good for short yardage situations. The cool part about it is the option route to circle. So if you go to spacing, you'll see circles on a little bit of an option pattern. If they're in cover two, he's going to run up the seams. And as you see, you can possession catch that. If they run cover two man, You'll see he should run a slant round, and it's actually an unbumpable slant pattern. So it's very unique in that regard. If they run cover three, we'll see what he runs. I think he'll run a, a slant again. When he runs that slant, it's actually a very good route for you. So you want to kind of build off that. What I would recommend doing is putting Cole Beasley on a fade. And you can look to maybe throw it to him if he's open. If not, you want to look down to your check down reads. So now you have two solid routes that are open. So this is just something quick that can change the course of a game, especially if they're not running a whole lot of hard flats. This is a really, really good short yardage play. So anyways, guys, that is a beginner's guide to the bunch. And what I, the reason I wanted to do this is I wanted to kind of give you a blueprint of something that you can use. This is almost found in every offensive playbook except for very few. And these core principle plays are really able to help you make this formation one of the better formations in Madden NFL 17. If you like this video and it helps you, please leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of other questions you might have that can help you improve in Madden NFL 17. Thank you so much for your time and I hope this video was helpful.